All right, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is Mr. What to Tell You. I am bringing you Until Dawn. Now, this is a story-driven, fir not first person, a story-driven uh, horror game where your decisions affect what happens in the game. So, I'm really excited for this. I love games like this. I love like Telltale's games. So, a horror game where your decisions affect what happens, but there's a little bit of a twist to it where your character, you play as a few different characters, I think, and your characters can die at any point in, not any point, but like, you know, throughout the game. So if uh, you're playing as one character and they die, that affects later on what happens in the story and that character is gone. They don't get to come back. You don't get a redo. There's no like, you know, you died here, continue to retry it again. No, the person is just dead. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. So it makes you kind of, you know, be more, feel like, like you're in the game more, I guess. But... Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling here and get into this. So I started a little bit just to test the sound to make sure everything was okay. And I haven't really done much outside of that. So we're just going to jump in here. I'm going to play this as if I was actually in this situation. So I give like movies a lot of shit for saying, you know, oh, you're making a dumb decision. You know, I wouldn't have done that. So this is kind of like a put your money where your mouth is kind of thing. So I talk a lot of shit that's hopefully I, I can back it up and actually survive and not make dumb decisions. Uh, but yeah, let's just, we're, we're jumping into it now. Like I said, I'm very excited for this game. I, I haven't seen anything on it really outside of, uh, I think they did like a 20 minute, you know, showing of it at, at E3 or something. But since I first heard about this game, I was hooked on it and I really wanted to play it. So I'm glad it's out now and we're, we're going to do this. Uh, your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. So yeah, like I said, see, your decisions are gonna affect what happens, and oh, I'm so pumped for this, man. You have no idea. All right, so we have a snowstorm and a cabin. Clearly, nothing can go wrong here. Oh, we got some teens as well. The, all these things mix well together. You got teens, you got a cabin, you got snow. Oh, and we have a murderer. <laughs> Not two minutes into the game, we already have the murderer here. Oh Lovely. My God, I can't believe you actually did this. Don't you guys think this is a little bit oh, Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she's oh, she does crush crush on Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Also, if you hear Jeff, stuff in the background, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing all I can to, to prevent sounds from being picked up. It's uh, it's nighttime here. I have the windows closed. I have everything I can possibly do. I'm sorry. There's not much else I can do. I'm, I'm dying here. It's so damn hot right here. I'm dying for you guys, but I'm going to truck through it and bring you this game. I really hope you enjoy it because I know I am. I've, oh, I've been so excited to play this. <laughs> Cutscenes look really good. From what I've heard and uh, you know, I've seen She's the little here. gameplay, it is a good looking game. Mike. Is that Hannah? Hannah trying to get some Mike? dick? <laughs> it's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Ooh. Hey, baby. Just creeping out, man. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Your daddy lied to you, little girl. Josh. Oh, am I playing? Holy shit, I'm playing. Okay. Wow. Yeah. All right. So this game looks incredible. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Hey, who took the last Oreo here? Wait, wait. No. Frank, did you take the last Oreo? Oh. Damn it, Frank, that was mine. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm excited, man. Let's uh, see. I got a flashing light over here. Uh, press R2 to pick up the note. Okay. Oh, okay. Flip around. Oh, Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you look even better out of it. <laughs> oh, God. Come to the guest uh, room at... 2 a.m. Mike, can you move your thumb? No, I can't. Okay. Oh my god. 
What did our that's naive sister mean. get herself into now? Ugh. Oh, so that's her sister. Okay. Time. All right, so let's go. Is there a way to move fast out? Oh, that's not that. Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. So each player has like their own little characteristics, and you can it affects their relate. It shows on the side. You see on the right, it shows people's uh, your relationship with them. That's pretty awesome. What are you looking at over there, girl? Nothing. Okay. What? What? See, there's something over here. What's this? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, <laughs> so it's locked. We gotta go over here then. Uh, use the right stick to look around. I, I already figured that out. Her, uh. Oh, my Oreos! <laughs> Let's go over here. I got your note. Glad you can make it. Got your note. Hey. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out. Oh, you're gonna get a little Sword bit kissy ocean. kissy. Oh, oh what the fuck? Yeah. Hey, oh, Hannah. Hannah's got no chill. <laughs> She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Hannah was Hannah. ready, man. She was in a she was in a get some. What are you some. doing here? Oh. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all got out of hand. They're all waiting to film me. her. What's with the assholes? Jerks. You know that? Hannah. Hannah. <laughs> oh, what? Use the right stick to choose. What am I choosing? Weak Josh. Find the. Well, Josh looks like he's dead over there. Let's go to the others. They were all right there. Guys. There's someone outside. What the oh. hell? Okay, bye. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just Where's my sister joke. going? It was That's just a prank, wonky. Han. What did you do? You were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Where's she going? Hannah! Oh, okay, yeah, let's run into the friggin'. After We're gonna run into the snowstorm in the middle no, of the night. The last you thought you saw right someone now, outside. Right. All right. For the record, this uh, this is not my decision. Oh, I would shit. not have done this. Oh shit! Quick. Okay. Quick time events. So we gotta go find our sister. Safe. Fuck the safe path. We're going the fast way. <laughs> oh god. Huh? Bunny hops. Oh, we're going. Alright, I should actually play this more like if it was me playing this. I would have probably taken the safe path. Oh. <sighs> Alright, so the smart thing to do would be to follow the footsteps, right? But let's be stupid just for now. We'll, we'll play more like us later, but... Well, like me later, I should say. But let's follow the noise, because that's always what you do in, in, you know, this situation. You hear Damn a creepy it, sound, let's run towards it. Where are you? Oh, what? She's running over there. Paper way to go. Huh? Follow the purple. Follow the shadow. God, let's play stupid just for now. I'm gonna follow the shadow. I'm gonna get my first fucking death out of the way. What am I doing? All right. From now on, I'm playing smart. I'm playing my way. I'm not playing the, st the stupid way. Why are you going into? Oh my god! It's just deeper and deeper into the forest. Use the touchpad. Oh, I can sort. Can I check Facebook real fast? Status up there. Yeah, I updated my status. Just chilling in the woods. Selfie. Just a selfie in the, the woods during a snowstorm. This, this is totally safe. It's okay. Oh god. Is that a freaking deer? Oh, yeah, I already figured that out. This is safe. Oh my Hello? Dear. Hello? Why you, I mean, I, I get it, it's her sister, but I'm sorry, if what's that? if my sisters ran into the forest in a snowstorm, I would, I don't think I would go. I love you guys, I'm just sorry, but I can't say I would. What the fuck is this? Is this a tiki? What is my, what, oh, what? What the fuck is that? Someone just, like, smashed your spine? Um, okay. <laughs> Alright, goodbye, tiki. Thank you for showing me someone's death. Hannah! I don't like these angles, man. So 
spooky stuff. It's too spooky for me. Oh god. What the hell? What the hell was that? Was that like a random fire in the forest? Hannah. Smokey the bear is Hannah. not gonna be happy. Hello? Oh Hannah, hello. Hannah! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, you run into the forest in a oh, snowstorm no. with no jacket, you're probably gonna, you know, be a little cold. Hannah? Beth? What the hell's that thing? Uh, what are we running from? <laughs> is the deer attacking us? Hannah! Oh, God, yeah, leave her. You fucking let her go. Oh, what was the thing? Yeah, I suck, Hannah. I'm sorry, she's already put us through so much and she's doing all the shit you're not supposed to do. She's tripping, she dropped the fucking phone, so if we, even if we did get away, we can't call for help. No! No! Oh what, what is happening, what? yo? We're gonna jump? What? Oh god, and then she brings us down. You know what? Fuck this guy. Oh, we're alive. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> this is fine. Oh, the other guy is shooting fire at us. Hold uh, on! Oh. oh, that's creepy. Cool. Um. Uh. Fuck it, Anna. Bye, Felicia! I'm so sorry! <laughs> I'm not. Bye, Felicia! Hey, take my hand, murder! Oh, okay. Oh, ooh! Well, that broke their spine, Jesus. Oh, oh. Well, they're dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ, she hit that rock so damn hard. The analysis, what? Dr. A.J. Hill. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you Hey, understand. this is the, uh, what's his name? I don't know his you name, see, but no he's one can familiar. change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. Oh, you're so creepy, freedom okay. in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. The future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Hmm. Oh God, he's very close to my face. So. You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Oh, well, thank you, Doctor. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Ah, what a nice guy. He's clearly all not right. creepy at all. We will start with a simple exercise. Okay. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me oh, what okay. you feel about it. it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. All right, and then be honest, okay. Ew, what the fuck? Did you see his face? Ew, <laughs> that was so weird. So you want me to take this card? This card? Let me flip it around. Let me flip this, this one right here. Let me flip it. Flip it. Flip it. <laughs> flip it. That's a, that's a scarecrow right there, it looks like. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it, it's a weird looking scarecrow, man. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember I mean, it was a honest. little creepy, but not too bad, I guess. <laughs> it makes me happy. All right, from, from, from here, I'm going to play it as me, like what, what I actually feel. And that, that was a little creepy. It's it's a creepy scarecrow, man. It's it's okay. a little unsettling. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The scarecrow. Oh, your fucking face. That's what makes it uneasy. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, this is the scarecrow. What? Well, I see. He's I like see. I don't know if they show another one. Look Let's at just look see. at his face. He makes this weird facial expressions. We're not there. You feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time, say a week, for example. Uh, yeah. If the, if he wasn't there, like it's a farm. I like I'd like to be on a farm. 
Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Well, that would be awesome, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wouldn't care. I think that would be pretty cool. I like like weird, so, creepy stuff like that. The scarecrow frightens you, and yet you don't appear to be bothered by the possibility well, of Well, don't put words in my mouth. I didn't say frighten me. I said it's a little creepy. It's a difference. I suspect that someone is not being entirely honest with me. I suspect you need to up. back the fuck up, man. Let's get out of my face. That in our next well, roundhouse, show, shall we? You don't know me. This guy is creepy. This game is fucking beautiful, though. <laughs> like, as creepy as his face, like, the expressions he was making are, this is a beautiful game. Looks like a damn movie. Like, you're doing that right. Sony Computer Entertainment. So that was a prologue, I guess. So I don't feel too bad that the chick died. I feel like that was supposed to happen. So I'm like, I'm not gonna count that loss, like, cause I wasn't playing as myself. <laughs> I was just doing stupid shit. But either way, it seems like that the girls were supposed to die regardless to what you do. Until dawn. See, I've been really excited for this game, guys. Like, when I first heard of it, like, immediately the whole decision based thing, I love those kind of games. I love, you know, the Telltale games, like Life is Strange, you've seen it, it's been on my channel. Um, I love games like that where your decisions affect what happens. And this just seems like it's taking that and making it so there's not a set thing that's supposed to happen. Like, if you fuck up in this, you fucked up <laughs> like it's not a guarantee that that's what was supposed to happen so ideally i guess the goal of this game is like for me at least is to try to get through with nobody dying i don't know if that's necessarily possible yet because i'm just starting it out now but it seems like you know you can do it if you make the right decisions <laughs> will that happen probably not because <laughs> i'm gonna fuck up probably quite a bit but that's gonna be pretty fun Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. So this guy is their brother? Oh. His face looks right. familiar. Like, I've seen him in well, movies. Well, hello, like. friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Woo! Ah! <laughs> Woo, Blackwood! So, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take Murder. a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. You mean your dead sisters? I know. You're all probably worried about me, and I know uh, it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... Yeah, death kind of brings, you know, I just a want toll. you all to know. Takes a toll on you um, a little bit. It means... It means so much to me that we're doing this, and that... Uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Yeah. Make this one trip. In we'll memory of my forget. sister, let's All go right? fuck some sluts. Yes! <laughs> yes! Let's go fuck sluts. Yes! Yes! Very different from the 
Jesus. Professor Din. <laughs> nah, you see that guy's name. Again, if you hear uh, like sounds in the background, like you know, you're drinking from the bottle, I'm sorry, I'm doing all I can to prevent any extra sounds from being picked up. Like I'm literally sitting in my room right now with the window closed, just like, trying to get any cars outside from being picked up. Uh, if it does, if it does get picked up, I'm sorry. There's really nothing more I can do. I hope it's not uh, too much of a bother. Black Moor Pines, We're here. So back at the lodge where this guy's sisters and uh, yeah, this guy's sisters were killed. Chapter one, friendship, 10 hours in total. Oh, murder is here already. Lovely. I mean, dude, we just got off the bus. Can you just let us breathe for a little bit? There's Sam, who is Hannah's best friend. She's considerate, adventurous, and diligent. And she's single and ready to mingle. <laughs> oh, God. Hello? Someone there? Uh oh. Sound they're making. Sam, past the cable car station. Oh shit, this isn't creepy at all, huh? 